In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a Venmo account and how you can use it. So this tutorial is going to work for both Android and iOS. Now, if you're on iOS, you want to go to the App Store. If you're on Android, you want to go to the Google Play Store and you want to search for Venmo and then you want to get the Venmo app. So go ahead and install that. Once you have installed the app, go ahead and tap on open. You're going to get two different options. You can either set up a personal or a business account. We're just going to set up a personal account and then click on where it says sign up. Next, we're going to need to add in our phone number, then click on where it says send code, then go ahead and enter in your code. Once you do so, go ahead and click on submit code. And now we need to set up some details about our account. So we need our first legal name, our second legal name, and then we need to create a username. So I'm just going to say Evan does tech. And then we need to enter in our email. And lastly, we need to enter in a password as well. And then you need to check that you're at least 18 years old and then click on where it says next. Then you need to agree to Venmo's user agreement and privacy policy. So just click on where it says agree. Now you're gonna have the option to sync your phone contacts as well as sync your Facebook contacts if you want. But if you don't want to do this, you can go ahead and click on skip for now. So by default, every Venmo account is set to public, which means that every payment that you make can be seen by everyone. If you set this to friends only, that means that only your friends can see you making payments. And if you set your account to private, that means only you and the other user can see your payment. And so you can go ahead and change this in your settings. I'll show you how to do that in a second, but go ahead and click on done and you can decide whether or not you want to allow notifications or not. I'm going to click not now. And to modify your privacy settings, go down to the bottom right where you see this little profile icon. And then you want to tap on the settings button at the top right, then go to where it says privacy. And here's where we can change our privacy settings. So if you want to go ahead and set our account to private, we can go ahead and tap private right here and click on change anyway. And now let's go back to the main page. So the way Venmo works is you can either pay or request money. So if you click on pay or request, you can either enter in a username, phone number, or email, or optionally, you can also scan a QR code. And then it's going to ask you how much money you want to send right here. So let's just say we want to send $10 and here we can say what it's for. So we can say maybe it's for a birthday or something like that. And what we can do is either hit request, which means we want to request $10 from this person, or we can tap on pay, which means we want to pay this person $10. And that is basically the fundamental of how Venmo works. There's other things that you can do in Venmo as well, such as going to this card icon and you can get yourself a Venmo card if you want. You can also tap on this crypto icon and you can buy cryptocurrency on the Venmo app as well. But that is basically how you can use Venmo. If you want to learn how you can link a debit card or bank account to your Venmo account, you can watch the video on the screen.